Well, here you are. You're getting into your submarine, feeling a bit anxious. You're going to descend hundreds of feet underwater to explore the ocean floor. So many things can go wrong. Technical issues, insane water pressure, dangerous marine monsters, mysterious eerie sounds. Wait, what? Eerie sounds so deep underwater? Yep, a strange humming noise is coming from the ocean depths. What makes it even creepier is that it only appears during dusk and dawn. This noise might act as a dinner bell, since it's likely to have a connection to massive groups of sea creatures moving up and down through the water to feed. But so far, it's just a theory. Using highly sensitive underwater microphones, researchers recorded a mysterious low-frequency hum at depths of 660 to 3300 feet. The sound wasn't very loud, just 3 to 6 decibels above the usual ocean background noise. For comparison, when someone is whispering in a quiet library, the sound reaches 30 decibels. The underwater noise also had a puzzling or humming quality. The weirdest thing? Despite their efforts, the researchers couldn't pinpoint a single species responsible for the sound. The noise originates in a region known as the twilight zone of the ocean. This region is dark and doesn't have many nutrients, with no sunlight for photosynthesis. Life here relies on organic debris falling from above, such as deceased organisms or waste material. At the same time, while it may sound barren, the twilight zone is far from empty. A 2015 study estimated that up to 90% of the world's fish could live in this zone, including many undiscovered species. Now, back to the mysterious noise. The researchers believe the sound may be linked to the vertical migration of small marine creatures like fish, shrimp, and squid. These animals move upward toward the surface at sunset to feed on plankton and nutrients, using darkness to avoid predators. At sunrise, they return to the depths to hide. This migration, which is one of the largest animal movements on Earth, involves billions of organisms and occurs daily. Scientists suspect that the strange hum might occur during this migration, as a way for the creatures to communicate or coordinate their movements. It might also serve as a signal to indicate when it's safe for a group to go to the surface and feed. If some animals indeed use the hum to communicate, it could help us understand deep-sea life better. The Twilight Zone has always been considered a quiet environment, but such a discovery hints at complex social behaviors and interactions among its inhabitants. But it's not only the ocean that produces bizarre sounds. Earth is humming non-stop, too. Unfortunately, you can't hear this soundtrack. This hum isn't from earthquakes. It's produced by subtle, ongoing vibrations in the planet's crust. They're too faint for us to feel and can only be detectable with special equipment. Scientists have long known about this phenomenon called free oscillation and have recorded this persistent hum. Earthquakes are the most noticeable ground movements. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, Earth experiences about 500,000 earthquakes every year. Of those, only 100,000 are strong enough to be felt, and around 100 cause noticeable damage. But in the quieter moments between earthquakes, the planet is still constantly vibrating with smaller, unnoticeable movements. Unlike the sudden jolts of earthquakes, this hum is steady and uniform, and it's a byproduct of micro-seismic activity. Seismometers, tools used to record ground vibrations, can detect this sound anywhere on land. For years, researchers have been debating the origins of this hum. Some thought it came from ocean waves reaching deep into the seafloor. Others believed it was caused by colliding waves on the ocean surface. By 2015, scientists had confirmed that both factors contributed to Earth's constant vibration. And although this hum has been recorded on land, now we also have much clearer, more detailed underwater recordings. To study the hum, Researchers used spherical seismometers on the seafloor in the Indian Ocean, near an island east of Madagascar. Between September 2012 and November 2013, they placed 57 freefall seismometers across a 772-square-mile area. These devices are designed to sink into the ocean floor and record even the faintest vibrations. Over the course of the 11-month study, the team filtered out noise from ocean waves and seafloor currents. 
they got clear, consistent signals of Earth's hum, with peaks at frequencies between 2.9 and 4.5 mHz, far below the range of human hearing, which starts at 20 Hz. The discovery of Earth's hum from the ocean floor is more than just a scientific curiosity. It gives researchers a new way to study how energy moves through the planet's crust and mantle. In any case, the world around us is filled with weird sounds that sometimes remain unexplained. One of the most intriguing examples is the bloop, an incredibly loud underwater sound recorded in 1997 by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The sound lasted about a minute and began as a low rumble, which then increased in frequency. It was so loud that underwater microphones detected it across an astonishing 3,000 miles. Initially, some experts thought it was the call of a massive unknown sea creature. However, NOAA later determined that the source likely had been the calving of icebergs, when giant pieces of Antarctic glaciers had been breaking off and crashing into the sea. The sound, known as Julia, a strange cooing noise, could have been produced by an iceberg scraping along the ocean floor. Another sound, dubbed train, due to its resemblance to the sound of train wheels on a track, likely originated in Antarctica's Ross Sea. Then there is upsweep, a recurring seasonal scratchy noise detected in the Pacific Ocean since 1991. Despite years of research, its exact cause remains unclear. The underwater world also has bizarre sounds that can be described as choirs of fish. Scientists studying marine life off the coast of Port Hedland in Western Australia discover that many fish species sing in synchronized choruses at dawn and dusk, much like birds. Over 18 months, researchers recorded tons of sounds, including foghorn-like calls from black jewelfish and rhythmic ba-ba-ba sounds from batfish. These fish songs, which often involve repetitive calls that overlap in large groups, are especially important for breeding, feeding, and territorial behavior. Deeper in the ocean, NOAA researchers also explored the sounds of the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the Mariana Trench. They used a titanium-encased microphone that managed to survive the crushing pressure over a thousand times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Over 23 days, the recorder captured loads of noises, from the haunting songs of whales to the rumble of distant earthquakes. Now, we've already figured out that the ocean is filled with strange sounds. But you can also hear weird noises above ground. One of the most puzzling is the hum, a low-pitched noise reported by people in specific areas, such as Taos, New Mexico, or Bristol, England. The sound is often described as a faint engine-like drone, and its source remains a mystery. Some researchers think it might be a psychological phenomenon, where people focus on subtle background sounds they might otherwise ignore. In any case, no definitive answer has been found yet. Geological formations can sing too. Utah's Rainbow Bridge, a massive 300-foot-high sandstone arch, vibrates like a guitar string when exposed to sounds, distant earthquakes, or waves near Lake Powell. Scientists have studied its frequencies to understand how such vibrations could affect the bridge's stability over time. Interestingly, visitors to the Rainbow Bridge have reported hearing faint humming sounds too. The skies also have their own eerie noises. For centuries, people in polar regions have described faint sizzling, popping, and cracking sounds accompanying auroras. A Finnish researcher made the first known recordings of these sounds and traced their origin to electrical discharges in the lower atmosphere, about 230 feet above the ground. These charges, caused by magnetic storms fueling auroras, produce faint sounds during calm and clear nights. Other natural phenomena, such as icebergs grinding against the seafloor or volcanic activity on the ocean floor, produce groans, rumbles, and crackling sounds that scientists study to learn about glacial movements and underwater geological activity. I myself produce many unusual sounds and rumbles, but, you know, that's a subject for another video or my next annual review. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.